हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू रिव्यू मोटरोला रेजर प्लस बट बिफोर दैट यू हैव टू आंसर मी द टू मोस्ट अनोइंग थिंग अबाउट द सैमसंग गैलेक्सी जी फ्लिप फोर यस इट्स एब्सोल्युटली दैट थिनी डिस्प्ले इन द फ्रंट एंड दैट अनोइंग क्रीज राइट स्मैक इन द मिड बट दिस मोटरोला रेजर प्लस सॉल्व्ड बोथ ऑफ दीस प्रॉब्लम्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डिजाइन बट बिफोर दैट प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन गाइस लुक एट दिस फोल्डेबल स्मार्टफोन दैट लुक्स very amazing in this shape smartphone has 15 mm thickness and both the front and back is made by glass material in unfolded shape it has plastic front and in this case its thickness is 7 mm along with 184 g of total weight talking about production it has water repellent coating instead of water resistance that i think it's weak point now let's move toward moto razer plus display guys it has 6.9 inches full hd plus resolution ltpo amoled panel that sport 1 billion colors along with hdr 10 plus and 165 hz refresh rate as well guys on the outer side there is 3.6 inches full hd plus amoled panel that also sport 1 billion colors and hdr 10 plus along with 165 hz refresh rate so overall this display is totally value for money guys moving toward performance it's come under right 13 out of the box and this smartphone is powered by snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 chipset along with 3.1 gigahertz clock speed and adreno 730 gpu talking about ram you can go with 8 gb or 12 gb and about storage you can go up to 5 12 gb for talking about overall performance i think there should be snapdragon 8 gen 2 chipset guys let's move toward camera of this smartphone you will see dual camera system at the rear which include 12 megapixel wide camera and 13 megapixel ultra wide talking about image quality on a perfect sunny day the motorola captures a great look looking short and compared to the Galaxy Z Flip 4 the detail is similar with the only difference being in the colors which are more realistic on the Moto and guys with this camera you can do 4K video recording on 60 fps guys let's talk about some connectivity as well here you will see stereo speakers wifi built with 5.3 gps and nfc as well but you will not find infrared port radio and 3.5 m jack guys moving to world last part of this smartphone that is battery you will see 3800 milliampere battery that's for 30 watt fast charging and 5 watt wireless charging but you will not see any reverse charging that i think a weak point guys now if we conclude our complete review this smartphone has almost screen less screen you can close it with almost no gap auto display is also very good and it also support 30 watt fast charging as well but there are some cons as well like a bit pricey software support not as long as competition and it also lacks strong water protection as well so guys what do you think about it please let me know in the comment box and we also shared amazing information about Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 as well you can check out that video and at the last please don't forget to press the like and subscribe button